Welcome to Now That's Interesting. Today we're diving into the medieval period, a time of knights, castles, and some pretty strange happenings. Let's uncover the oddities of the Middle Ages. Medicine in the Middle Ages was, well, let's just say it was a bit different from what we know today. One of the strangest practices was bloodletting. People believed that many illnesses were caused by an imbalance of the body's humors. To fix this, they used leeches or sharp instruments to drain blood. Yikes. But that's not all. If you had a toothache, you might be advised to wear a dead mole around your neck. And if you had a fever, they might recommend you drink a potion made from crushed emeralds. Seems like they really like to think outside the box. Or the body. Fashion in medieval times was more than just chainmail and long robes. Have you ever heard of the poulains? These were shoes with extremely long, pointed toes. The longer the toe, the higher your social status. And let's not forget about the henin, those tall, conical hats worn by noble women. Sometimes they were so tall that they had to be tied to the ceiling to keep from falling over. Talk about a fashion statement. If you think your job is strange, consider some of the professions in medieval times. How about the gong farmer? These unfortunate souls were responsible for cleaning out latrines and cesspits, or the sin eater, who would eat a ritual meal over a deceased person to absorb their sins. Then there was the knocker-up, whose job was to wake people up by knocking on their windows with a long stick. It's like a medieval alarm clock, but with a human touch. The peculiar practices of trial by ordeal. Justice in the Middle Ages could be quite unusual, Instead of relying on evidence and testimonies, people sometimes turn to trial by ordeal. This could involve sticking your hand in boiling water or carrying a red-hot iron bar. If you healed quickly, you were considered innocent. If not, well, you get the idea. Another method was the ordeal of water, where the accused was thrown into a river. If they floated, they were guilty of witchcraft. If they sank, they were innocent, but often drowned. Talk about a lose-lose situation. Medieval cuisine could be just as strange as their customs. Ever heard of a cockentriche? It's a mythical dish made by sewing the front half of a pig to the back half of a chicken. This dish was meant to impress guests with both its taste and bizarre appearance. Another unusual delicacy was lamprey pie. Lampreys are jawless fish, and their pie was considered a delicacy fit for kings. However, they were so rich and oily that some believe they contributed to the death of King Henry I of England. Definitely not your typical fish dish. Superstitions were a huge part of medieval life. For example, people believed in witch bottles, jars filled with hair, nails and urine to ward off evil spirits. And if you were building a new house, you might bury a live animal under the foundation as a sacrifice to ensure stability and protection. Even weddings had their own quirks. It was common to throw shoes at the bride and groom for good luck. Seems like catching the bouquet is a lot safer. The medieval period was full of fascinating and strange practices, from bizarre medical treatments and fashion trends to peculiar jobs and justice systems. While some of these customs might seem odd to us now, they give us a glimpse into the rich and varied tapestry of medieval life. Thanks for watching, now that's interesting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. What strange topic should we cover next? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.